right into the third week of the challenge and again it's Monday. That's mean only one thing, I've got to go and find another bike. Well, my budget has grown to over 200 pounds, but that doesn't mean I'll go and spend it all on a single bike. Remember, the profit is the key and that is what we're gonna be looking for. Something quite profitable. With that thought in mind, I have found the perfect bike for that purpose. It is a Carrera Sukata. It is listed for only 60 pounds, but as you can imagine, there is issues with it, and in particular, only one. The front brake is missing, so I've got to go and outsource another front brake, which seems very simple since I've got plenty of second-hand parts in the garage. All looks good on the paper, let's go and see the bike. Look at that Carrera Sukat. We've only paid 50 pounds for it. I'm quite excited, you've got 29 inch wheels, you've got a just normal cable disc brakes, actually the front one is missing, so that's what we have to focus on, just getting a new brake, but I've got something in my mind about that but look at it 29 inch wheels it's pretty basic at the back because you've got two four six eight gears so and then three at the front you would say nothing too special i'll tell you what is special the color of the bike and with this bike i'm quite confident we're on the way to beat milo again this week this is the third week of this challenge and i've got to be honest i was worrying a little bit i texted about a bike this morning and the guy said sorry pending however literally a minute ago he sent me another text the guy who meant to see the bike didn't turn up it's a beautiful bike i don't want to waste any more of your time let's jump in the car and i'll show you what it is here it is, the Carrera Sukat. We've got it on the stand, and as I mentioned earlier, we need to focus on few bits and pieces. We'll have to replace the grips as this one is cracked. Then we've got prepared a two nice brakes of it, which I think will go very well with the bike. Apart from that, the gears are good, all the bearings are in place and they're working well, and I think the bike hasn't really seen that much for use. So with all that being said, let's crack on and do our tasks. Right, the brake, it's back on the forks. We're not gonna go ahead and tidy it completely yet as we're gonna put the brakes on the handlebar and then we can tidy it straight so it doesn't really touch the disc and it doesn't make any noises. We've got our brand new brakes and they're much better than the original texture track what we've got. So now we're gonna go and install the front one. All we need to do, just connect it. Right, brakes is back in place. Pressing the brake, making sure the disc is in the center. Then you're gonna tighten the two bolts at the bottom. Here is my third bike for the third week of this challenge. It is Carrera Kraken and I've managed to pay only 70 pounds for it. This is very entry level bike, which it's no doubt there's gonna be a lot of interest for it. 27.5 inch wheels, locking suspension with rebound button, which is a good feature to it hydraulic brakes and it's a three by nine. There is obviously a few things that needs to be changed. For example, the sada and the grips. It needs general TLC and will be set to go. Let's see how we did. Very impressive. Now, as you can see, there is a difference between the tech truck and the Avid and all we have to do is do the same thing. Bike is ready and I'm quite happy with the result. Look at it, fantastic Carrera Sukat in our hands. Now, as you can see, all it's left is to take the picture and find a new buyer for it. And of course, with that kind of bike, I'm pretty sure I will find someone by the end of day today. with the bike and it's on the stand. I'm gonna crack on and fix the front gears first. All you've got to do is give it a few spins on the lower bow on the front delera as the chain is actually snapping while you're spinning the pedals. Let's try that. That looks all right for me, give it a go. There is no more noises, I think our problem here is fixed. And it changes nice and smoothly as well. Next step is gonna be change the solder. I've got brand new here. So let's go ahead and change it. 
<clears throat> no, look at that's gonna be looking sweet. Okay, all you need to do is just slide it in. Right, that was easy. Next thing is gonna be the grips. Jesus, they're really nasty and dirty. And now I can begin the cleaning. We've just delivered the bike and whoa, what a good result in the end and a happy new owner for the bike. He'll be very appreciative with the work we've done and the profit, fantastic in the end. I didn't let it go even for a penny less than I planned. I hope that's gonna be enough to beat Milo this week. I've got a bit of an issue with this rear tire. I'm really not happy about it. It is quite bolt, but also I have found few holes on it. So this is on the verge to burst. I actually have a spare one and I'm gonna go ahead and change it. That's it. Look at this beautiful bike. I'm quite confident there will be so, so much interest into it. Well, one way to find out. Let's make the photos. Let's see who's going to be our next buyer. It's all yours. Thank you. Here we are, standing at week number three. And what a week we had. Indeed, and what a beautiful bikes as well. Two Carreras. Two Carreras indeed, yeah. Tell me a little bit more about your Sulcata. It was quite a good bargain to begin with. I've paid only £50 for it. Okay. Since then, I had to fix the brake, new grips to bring it back to life. And in total, I've spent a £65. Not bad going at all, not bad so going. So what about your Carrera Kraken? My Carrera Kraken was £70. There was a couple of things that needed to change in. That cost me another tenner. Right. So bring me to £80 in total. Okay, that's quite good for a Carrera crack, mm -hmm. and I have to admit that. Indeed. And how much profit did you manage to do in the end? Okay, so once I posted the photo, on the fifth minute, there was people already inquiring for it, and I managed to sell it for £180. That's a good price. Indeed, which brings me a healthy profit of £100. Tell well me about done. the Sulcata. I'm well, quite intrigued. So since you know we spent a 65 pound, yeah. we've managed to sell it for 160 pound. Okay, no and no. in total, I've got a 95 pound. Not enough to beat you this week. Not enough. But hey, our budget has grown. Now I have 310 pound to spend. And I have 315. That's mean only one thing. We've still got one more week to go. And it's gonna be an exciting one since that's gonna be the last week of the challenge. And then we can determine who is gonna be the winner. Thank you for watching Flip My Bike and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Smash that like button and see you next, next time. time.